Your Excellency, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, the Honorable President of India, ladies and gentlemen, I am privileged to offer felicitations to Honorable Pranab Da, first citizen of India. Coming from the Northeast, it is an honor to bring you greetings from this beautiful region, which I'm, unfortunately, a lot of people in our own country don't often have a chance to visit. And bearing that in mind, I'd like to invite our honorable president to, in, uh, to visit us during your term as president of India. I am here on behalf of Young Indians, which is an integral part of CII, to engage with the youth of our country in leadership and national uh, nation building activities and initiatives. We are proud to inform you that this is the 10th year of our existence and we will be launching the 25th chapter of YI in Bhopal tomorrow. Sir, it is noteworthy that an eminent personality of your st stature and vast experience has assumed the exalted office of the President of India. The Constitution of India is founded on the principles of equity and freedom, and through the years it has been uh, nurtured and sustained, and we believe that we, the young people of India, will, be, will get a chance to continue that as well. Sir, in your earlier speeches, you have articulated your faith in the new India that is going to be led by the coming generations, and we are indeed proud that you have repose such confidence in us. The energetic and dynamic uh, young people of India who have a great vision, and I suppose we're very idealistic in certain terms as well, um, we hope to transform India society, economy, politics, and culture in the coming years, not just in the country, but around the world as well. So I wish to mention here proudly of two uh, prominent points that have been uh, achievements of youth from our region from, um, in the country. We have produced and continue to produce world-class athletes and sportsmen and women under various categories. Some of uh, the accomplishments are as recent as the Summer Olympics in uh, London. The other thing is, of course, the culture of the Northeast region is as valuable as the country, uh, as the culture in the other parts of the country it's itself. But our unique culture is something that we are truly, truly proud of. And uh, many of our young people have invaluably, uh, have been um, very invaluable in promoting uh, this great culture that we have, which um, in a melting pot like India, we are very proud to represent as well. So I wish um, to have this opportunity of interacting with yourself on seeking your thoughts on two points. Um, I am sure these points will be close to your heart as well. Uh, what are your thoughts on creating more young entrepreneurs from our region to help themselves and the nation at large? What would your advice be to us? As a young entrepreneur from the region myself, I personally feel that there is a lot of pot potential for more people to become entrepreneurs from the Northeast, especially judging the Look East policy that the government has been focusing so much. We really ardently hope that um, when you pick agencies who will be, uh, uh, your office will help the government in picking the right type of agencies who will include young entrepreneurs, um, first generation entrepreneurs in most cases, to become a part of the Northeast development as well. We only need infrastructure development, and we will do the rest. That we can assure you. <laughs> Apart from entrepreneurship, we seek your advice, support, and encouragement on how we can engage the youth from Northeast in nation building. Um, something sad that happened recently in the recent events that happened, bearing that in mind, a special request which I hope your office will be able to help, is to create a better integration among the youth of the country um, with the rest of the Northeast, and that um, in order to have a better understanding of each other, I'm hoping that the, no the rest of India, as we call in the Northeast, mainland India, will get a chance to actually study us as well. 
we have over the past decades been studying about the uh, mainland, its history, everything about it. But we come to realize that our counterparts do not get a chance to study us at all. The little that they get is often misrepresented information. And we hope that you will include the Northeast studies into the school syllabus so that we have a better integration and we have young people understanding us better as well. And we've built a, a bigger and better future. <laughs> we hope that um, you will help us advise us and be a mentor to our region, especially for you coming from um, a region which is the doorway to the northeast of India. We hope, really hope, that you will come and participate in a bigger platform with us in the northeast as well. Um, we believe that given your passion for knowledge and intellectual insights, you, you will be the best person to guide and inspire the youth of the country. Thank you, sir, for giving us this opportunity to engage with you. May I once again offer our warmest felicitations and wish you all success. Honorable Sri Pranab Mukherjee, President of India, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to add my personal facilitation to you, sir, for taking on this high office. You have promoted globalization and liberalization and have been a great supporter of CII. I, uh, in time to prepare for this uh, great privilege, uh, thought of how to approach this. And I really want to share with our audience here two personal episodes from CII. From my time is uh, 91, 92. I was president in 91, 92. That's enough gray hair here. And many of our past presidents uh, who are here uh, weren't there. This was the time when CII was called the Confederation of in Engineering Industry. 